Welcome, starting with our big story this hour. Hundreds of protesters blocked the international airport in Nigeria's Lagos as protests sparked by the police brutality brought the city to a halt. In the latest coming in, the governor of Lagos State has declared a 24-hour curfew across Nigeria's biggest city. As he said, that protest sparked by police violence had de degenerated into a monster. Now, crowds of demonstrators waved flags and placards outside the airport terminal. The protest started earlier this month after a video showing a man being beaten, apparently by members of the police special anti-robbery squad circulated on social media. In response to the protest, the Nigerian government announced that it would disband the special police unit. But the daily protests have continued, with protesters demanding an end to all police brutality and corruption. Since the protest began, at least 10 people have been killed and hundreds injured, according to Amnesty International. Meanwhile, the Nigerian youth minister said that those protesting must end their daily demonstrations and enter into dialogue with the government on law enforcement reforms. It is time to move to the next stage. That next stage is dialogue, to sit at the table. You have put demands on the table. Demands have been, have been met. You might have other demands. It is only dialogue. And that's, that's, that's been the way of all protests, the way of all conflicts. And it cannot be different in this situation. Nigerian mothers, too, joined the peaceful protests in Lagos. The women demonstrated holding placards reading, end police brutality, mothers march, and banners saying, and I quote, we cannot sit back and watch them kill our children, unquote. Let's, let's come and protest against the killing of my children, against the killing of our children, against the killing of the youth. We want a new Nigeria where righteousness, peace, and justice reign, where our children can live, can reach, go to school and walk and live their life in peace. And we want a new Nigeria where the government is accountable to the people, not the people that come to the government. We want a new Nigeria where mothers, fathers, and children can live in peace. Our correspondent, Phil Yohaza, joins us live from Abuja. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. Now, we're getting reports that the curfew has been imposed for the next 24 hours. What does this mean for the city? Well, thank you. Uh, yes, indeed, uh, Lagos State has just imposed uh, a 24-hour curfew. It's the second state so far. Uh, Edo State took the lead uh, sometime yesterday uh, when, of course, there were reports of thugs taking over the protest, injuring lots of protesters and, you know, destroying government properties. Uh, so that's the state of things now. And Lagos State, if you recall, is... Uh, one of the major cities that have seen thousands of youth, thousands of people troop the streets for uh, two weeks now, demanding for an end uh, to uh, pro police brutality and, of course, um, the disbandment of the uh, rogue unit, special uh, anti-robbery squad, which, of course, the government has heeded to. So that's the state of things. It's a 24-hour curfew, which is supposed to start at 4 p.m. local time. Right, Phil. You, uh, the, the protesters who are protesting against the police brutality, as you've said, especially the SARS force, the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, they have blocked uh, Lagos Airport. And uh, the Nigerian youth minister has called on protesters to enter into dialogue and stop the demonstrating. Well, indeed, they've um, gone into dialogue. The government has uh, been able to uh, conduct various discussions with, uh, you know, celebrities, prominent figures of the society, uh, civil society organizations, uh, you know, in different strata of the society. But the uh, amazing thing about uh, this protest is the fact that there is no particular figure, uh, maybe a leader, uh, in the face of this protest. So. In fact, at, as it stands, the NSAS protest or the NSAS itself, the acronym was uh, started, it started you know, about four years ago by a man named Sheguna Wosonya. And, but at this point, it has evolved. It has gone beyond uh, a one-man movement. It is some kind of uh, agitation, a long-awaited, much-anticipated agitation, which is also legitimate by various youths, various people in the society, millions of people in Nigeria and, of course, outside the country calling for years of brutality assaults by the police. So 
although the government has, with those discussions, come up with some action points to end, you know, this menace, uh, the youths are not satisfied. Many of them don't trust you know, the decision by the government because it, this is not the first time the government is saying they will end uh, such brutality by uh, police officers. Phil, thank you very much for bringing us all the latest there on uh, the protests that are ongoing in Lagos.